I'm going to play right now the snare, the snare drum line. Okay, we actually I'm going uh, we're going to play this song in 82 BPM. For those of you who don't know what BPM means, that means beats per minute. Okay, the BPM gives us the beat. Okay, in order to play on time, I'm going to share with you. So you do the same when you play. Okay. Then you go to the browser and click the word metronome. Or you can click metronomo in Spanish. It's, it doesn't matter, it's the same. And it will show the metronome. As you can see, it's in 100 BPM. You go here. Do you see the minus sign? You click it until you reach 82 BPM. How do you listen to it? By just clicking play here. Okay, you can stop it by clicking play again. So, for this to happen, you can use your um, your headphones, okay? So uh, in the audio, it doesn't interfere with the, with the click and what you're playing, okay? So you put your headphones on, then click play, go back to the, to the music sheet and start playing, okay? Now I'm gonna play the snare drum line in my practice part, okay? Remember, it's just the first six measures. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, now I'm done with the snare drum line. Now I'm gonna play the bass drum line also in my practice part, okay? Take a listen. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, now I'm gonna play the minor percussion line, which in this case is a triangle instrument. I am gonna play it also in my practice pad at 82 BPM. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so right now I'm going to play the snare drum line starting from measure 7 because your work right now is to play from exercise 7 until the end of the musical piece. Right now I'm going to play just the snare drum line, all right? Please listen carefully. One, two, one, two, three, and... Okay, regarding the flam rudiment, you can have either right hand flam or left hand flam. If you're right handed, I recommend you to use right hand flam. If you're left handed, I recommend you to use left hand flam. Okay, and uh, all right, so I'm gonna play the bass drum line right now with my drumsticks in my practice pad. Okay, starting from measure seven. 
Remember, starting from measure seven. Bass drum line. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, that was the bass drum line. Now I'm gonna play the triangle line, okay, which is the minor percussion one. Starting from measure seven, all right? Here it goes. One, two, one, two, three, and one. Three, four, one, two, one. Two, three, four, one. Four, one, two, three, four. Okay, remember, for the ones that are assigned to play the snare drum line, use your drumsticks and play in your practice pad, okay? If you're assigned to the bass drum line, you will have to tap your foot, all right, on the floor. So I have to see that in the video, remember. I have to see that in the video. Now, for the minor percussion section, the ones that are assigned to play the triangle, please find something in your house that sounds similar to the triangle. It can be a bottle, for example. Now, I'm going to play the same song, a Mozart melody, exercise 31, but in this case, I'm gonna play it in the keyboard, the, uh, the melodic section, the melodic percussion section, okay? Here it goes. Okay, right now I'm gonna play the snare drum line. And before I start playing, um, I'm gonna let you know that we are gonna start playing the first eight measures, not the whole song, okay? Just the first eight measures. So I'm gonna play the snare drum line for you so you will know how to play it, okay? Remember, we're in two, four time signature, not four. So I count two. One, two. Simple as that. Now, I'm going to count two again in order to play the bass drum line, okay? I'm going to play the bass drum line in the practice part, too. Okay, take a listen. One, two. Very easy, huh? And right now, I'm gonna play the minor percussion section, which in this case is the wood block, okay? I'm gonna play it in my practice pad as well. One, two.
the last eight measures of Fry Hakobo. So I'm going to start playing the snare drum line. Remember that you are in 2 4 9 4 4 time signature. So we count 2. 1, 2. And now I'm going to play the bass drum line in my practice pad. One, two. One, two. Right now, I'm going to play the minor percussion line, which is a wood block. One, two. One, two. One, two. Forte. One, two. And for the melodic percussion section, here's a music sample. And now for the melodic section, here's a music sample. Okay guys, in order to do your task, you will have to record yourself playing the two songs that we have practiced until now, which is a Mozart melody and Fry Jacobo. You will have to use the metronome for recording yourself. You put your headphones on, you click play in the metronome, then you are listening to it, then when you are ready, by listening to the metronome, count four beats and then you play okay the Mozart melody BPM is 82 and the BPM for Fry Jacobo is 77 remember that you have to play the whole song from the top until the end so don't forget you have to upload two videos in Schoology one video for Fry Jacobo and the other video for Mozart melody <laughs>